What if the most advanced technology we marvel at today is but a mere shadow of what existed thousands of years ago? A thought-provoking question indeed. As we delve into the depths of history, we find ourselves intrigued by the enigmas that ancient civilizations have left behind, mysteries that seem to suggest the presence of a technology far superior to their time. Consider the pyramids of Egypt, these monumental structures that have stood the test of time. How are these gargantuan edifices built with such precision when even today, with all our technological advancements, replicating them would be a formidable challenge? Some believe that the answer lies beyond our world, in the realm of extraterrestrial beings. Then we have the Nazca Lines in Peru. These massive geoglyphs etched onto the desert floor are a sight to behold. Their intricate designs, visible only from the sky, lead us to wonder, did ancient civilizations have the means to view these from above? Or were these messages meant for beings capable of flight, long before humanity took to the skies? Turning our attention to the east, we find references to Vimanas in ancient Indian texts. These descriptions of flying chariots, complete with detailed specifications, seem eerily similar to modern aircraft. Could these texts be recounting actual encounters with advanced technology, or are they simply the product of vivid imagination? Lastly, let us not forget the Antikythera mechanism. This complex ancient Greek device, often dubbed as the world's first computer, is a marvel of mechanical engineering. Its intricate system of gears and dials used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses is simply mind-boggling. Some speculate that this device is not of earthly origin, but an alien artifact left behind. These mysterious monuments and artifacts, scattered across different cultures and time periods, could be the earliest known instances of extraterrestrial intervention in human development. Could it be that we have been visited by beings far more advanced than us? Or are these merely coincidences, interpreted through the lens of our fascination with the unknown? The answers remain as elusive as the mysteries themselves. Scene script. Fast forward to the 20th century, a time when the skies became filled not just with birds and clouds, but with unidentified flying objects. The modern era, particularly around and following the Second World War, became a hotbed for UFO sightings. It was as if the conflict had stirred up the cosmic pot, awakening interest from extraterrestrial observers. The most infamous of these sightings took place in Roswell, New Mexico, in the summer of 1947. Reports of a crashed flying saucer spread like wildfire, and tales of the government recovering alien technology from the wreckage quickly followed. But, of course, official responses were swift and dismissive. The United States military insisted it was a conventional weather balloon, while conspiracy theorists held firm to their belief in a cover-up of monumental proportions. The Roswell incident was far from isolated. Over the years, countless people from all walks of life have reported encounters with UFOs. These sightings prompted the U.S. Air Force to initiate Project Blue Book in the 50s. This was a systematic study of unidentified flying object reports, aiming to determine if they posed a threat to national security and to scientifically analyze the data. For over a decade, Project Blue Book collected a staggering 12,618 sightings. However, its conclusion was as mysterious as the phenomena it was investigating. The project found no evidence of extraterrestrial vehicles, no objects of unknown technology or capability, and no threat to national security. But crucially, it also left a whopping 701 sightings unexplained. While the official line often leans towards dismissal or rational explanations, the numerous accounts of strange occurrences in our skies continue to fuel speculation. And let's face it, the idea of advanced alien technology, of beings from other worlds visiting us, is an irresistible lure for our collective curiosity and imagination. While the truth remains elusive, these modern encounters have only intensified our fascination with alien technology. Alien technology has captured our imaginations, permeating every facet of our popular culture. From the pages of novels to the grand expanse of the silver screen, depictions of extraterrestrial tech have shaped and reshaped our perceptions of the cosmos, often inspiring real-world scientific advancements. Consider H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, published in the late 19th century. This seminal work of science fiction introduced readers to a terrifying Martian invasion, complete with advanced weaponry and tripod war machines. Wells' imaginative technology, seemingly impossible for the era, sparked wonder and fear, setting a precedent for future sci-fi narratives. Fast forward several decades, and we find ourselves immersed in the world of Star Trek. 
The series, born in the late 60s, captivated audiences with its futuristic technology. The teleportation device, or transporter, became a staple of the show, allowing characters to instantly move from one location to another. While teleportation remains a work of fiction, the concept has driven scientific discourse and research into quantum mechanics and the possibilities of quantum teleportation. Then of course, there's the iconic lightsaber from George Lucas's Star Wars saga. Emitting a blade of pure plasma, the lightsaber became a symbol of a far-off galaxy where technology is both fantastical and commonplace. And while we may not have real lightsabers, yet, the concept has inspired advancements in laser and plasma technologies. These are but a few examples of how alien technology and pop culture has influenced our own scientific pursuits. But it's not just about the tech. These stories, these depictions of advanced civilizations and their far-reaching capabilities are a reflection of our society's deep-seated curiosity about what lies beyond our planet. We dream of alien technologies not merely for their novelty, but for what they represent, a universe teeming with possibilities a testament to the boundless potential of human imagination and a beacon of hope that one day we might not be alone in this vast cosmos fiction or not these cultural artifacts reflect our society's deep-seated curiosity about what lies beyond our planet but what could alien technology really look like scientists have some theories when we think about advanced alien technology we often find ourselves imagining spacecrafts that can traverse the vastness of space at incredible speeds but what could propel such a craft? Some scientists speculate that alien civilizations might have discovered new principles of physics or harnessed the energy of entire stars to fuel their journeys. Imagine a civilization so advanced that they could create a Dyson sphere, a hypothetical megastructure that completely encompasses a star, capturing most or all of its energy output. A technology like this could provide nearly limitless power, far beyond our current capabilities. Yet propulsion is just one aspect. Alien technology might also encompass unimaginable advancements in computing, potentially far surpassing our most advanced artificial intelligence. Imagine an AI so sophisticated that it could simulate an entire universe in intricate detail or create consciousness itself. But how do we estimate the likelihood of such advanced civilizations existing? One tool scientists use is the Drake Equation. Named after astronomer Frank Drake, this equation estimates the number of civilizations in our galaxy with which we might be able to communicate. It considers factors like the rate of star formation, the fraction of those stars with planetary systems, and the lifespan of technologically advanced civilizations. Yet, this brings us to the Fermi paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi. If there are so many potential civilizations, why haven't we detected any clear signs of them? Some suggest they're avoiding us. Others speculate they've self-destructed, and some believe we're simply not looking in the right way or at the right time. The truth is, we don't know. Our understanding of technology is based on human experience and the laws of physics as we know them. The technology of an alien civilization, especially one much older and more advanced than ours, could be beyond our comprehension. Whether we're alone in the universe or not, contemplating alien technology pushes the boundaries of our scientific understanding. As we venture further into the cosmos, the question remains, will we ever encounter alien technology, and how will it change us? As we unravel the fabric of the universe, organizations like SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, and NASA's Exoplanet Exploration Missions are leading the charge in this cosmic quest. SETI's ongoing efforts to scan the skies for signs of intelligent life are nothing short of remarkable. Using high-tech radio telescopes, they listen for signals from distant stars, hoping to pick up an extraterrestrial broadcast. Imagine, the first evidence of alien life might not come from a spaceship landing on Earth, but from a whisper in the cosmic dark. Meanwhile, NASA's exoplanet explorations are uncovering worlds beyond our solar system. These planets, orbiting stars light years away, offer tantalizing possibilities for alien life. What if one of these distant worlds holds the key to alien technology? What if the answer to our biggest questions is waiting, just a star away? But what happens if we do find alien technology? The implications could be as vast as the universe itself. It could trigger a technological revolution, propelling us into an age of unimaginable advancements. Imagine harnessing the power of a star or traveling at the speed of light. But it may also stir an existential crisis. If we're not alone, what does that mean for our place in the universe? 
Are we the newcomers, the cosmic infants, in a universe teeming with ancient civilizations? The future of alien tech is as mysterious as it is exciting. But one thing is certain. Our pursuit of it reflects our insatiable curiosity, our desire to connect, to understand, and to grow. We're not just searching for alien technology. We're searching for a new understanding of ourselves and our place in the cosmos. As we gaze at the stars, we're not just looking for alien life. We're seeking a mirror, a reflection of our own potential, our future, and perhaps our destiny.